go into Tosca and let's give a sensible name to our folder where we're going to put our modules into create a new folder give it a nice name okay we could call it obstacles or something like that okay then we right click scan application wait a little bit while it wakes itself up I hope my computer isn't making too much noise well, you can see we've got lots of things open that's what we're looking for we do have some options HTML user interaction area or any user interface let's just leave it as HTML and click on scan now I'm just going to use select on screen it's it's picked up everything All right. click select on screen and I'm going to select condensed so now it's over here okay I'm going to click on this one even though we don't want it and I'm going to click on that one which is the one we do want and then I'm going to say review the items if you look closely you'll see the first one's okay pay attention to the xpath it's not what we, what we want okay the one we do want is not unique so how do we make it unique the orange means it is not unique okay so if we click on xpath Oh, it becomes unique. Okay, that's great. Unselect the first one because we don't actually want that. And now it's become unrecognized again. So perhaps if we select inner text, I am the one. Inner HTML, sorry. I'm the one. Hey, that's good enough. Now let's click on close. Actually, shall we leave it like that? I actually prefer if we put in the number. Oop, now it all the savers. Do you want to save it? Yes, I do. Okay, so now if we go inside this module, inner HTML is being selected, XPath is also being selected. Okay. Now, what do we do with this? Well, we can drag this module into a test case. Oh, that's not great. Okay. Let's go back. F2 to edit. Control C. And then in here, we create a new folder, okay? Or maybe just a new test. Do we need a folder? Maybe not. Create a new test. There's the name of the test, okay? Twins. Go back to the module. Drag that module in there. Okay. There it is. Let's delete that. Another way to do it would be to do a control T and type in TWINS. Numbers are great, but a little textual description is also good. So then we can click on a little X in there, okay? Now we already have the window open, okay? There we go. So if I just do an F6, I don't want a record of this run, I just want to see if it runs, if it works. This is taking a long time. It's taking forever, huh? Oh, there we go. One test case passed. I didn't see it click here. It's running really slowly. That uh, page has crashed. Let's see, Tosca not using an awful lot. Okay. 
performance. No spikes. Now it said it ran. We got a green here. But what did it actually do? It's actually giving us an invocation timeout value. Okay. I don't like that. But I'm going to save my work, okay? Then I'm going to take this path, control C, kill that browser. I don't like it, okay? Run it again. Horrible MSN. All right, there's our web page. Let's try it one more time. Let's run it in Scratchbook. F6. Verify and record license, nice and quick. Boom, that actually worked. Now, let's just go back here and see. Did we actually run a test here? No, we didn't. We just clicked on a link. We haven't verified anything. And we haven't actually followed best practice. Okay? So within this test here, which is, the work state's no longer planned, it's actually in work, isn't it? We need to create some folders. We need to give a little bit of structure to our test case, okay? And I do it like this. Precondition. I think I can use a shortcut. Control N F. Yeah. Process. No, don't want that. Post condition. Okay. Let me just drag this in here. Okay. And that's not a great name, is it? And it's only a step, isn't it? So we'll say, click on the correct button. We need a precondition, which is separate from the test. The precondition is, open the URL. Open the browser. You can't assume this browser is going to be running when you've got to run this test. Let's do Control T, open URL from X Engines, the first one on the list, okay? What do we give it? We give it that URL, okay? Obstacle course, try send this, obstacles. And that's a nice precondition. Then we go in here, we click on the correct button. We're going to use an X in here because it means it's an event-driven test. If we to use a click, it actually moves the mouse, and that will make your test less reliable when working in a remote desktop environment. So always use X wherever you can. Now, post condition. What do you think the post condition should be? I think the post condition should be closed browser. So let's see if we can do a control T, if we can do closed browser. All right, check it out. What do you reckon the title is gonna be? Tricentus obstacle course. There it is right there. So I would just say, Try Centus Obstacle Course. There was more text. So let's just put a star in there. So it's generic. Want to see if that works? Do an F6. Let's see if it kills it. Well, hey, it worked. It killed it. That's great. Close the browser. Let's see if our precondition works. F6, that one. Great. That worked too. And that's it.